my first day as a 30 year old I guess a follow up from my last birthday video is uh, proper I uh, want to discuss my love interest and uh, uh, what occurred since that time that was the main thing I brought up in that video I uh, had a good uh, chance she gave me two good opportunities to approach her perfect opportunities to approach her clearly made it uh, seem that she wanted me to approach her and uh, it was the perfect uh, setting but uh, I failed to because uh, uh, I uh, don't know why actually but uh, I just I think I cowered out of it it was uh, a difficult uh, thing for me to catch I uh, did not seem to be ready for the situation I, I mean you never are ready are you but uh, I uh, did not grasp the chance that I had uh, it was uh, cold both times I mean not freezing but it was chilly uh, and uh, those were I had some discouraging aspects uh, one of the is the chilliness and uh, then uh, from all my excitement I started wanting to take a dump urgently needless to say that's a big one there and uh, other and I was uh, just uh, babysitting my nephew two and a half year old so I was acutely aware what uh, sex leads to even one encounter uh, that, yeah, it's uh, fantasizing about uh, an, a porn video encounter is one thing and uh, the real life is another so because I was uh, just taking care of a small kid it was uh, no little thing to have my fantasies realized I knew the consequences peculiarly well at that time so that was a big discouragement I just don't have the confidence I have to confess to open a, a romantic relationship with someone after 
real one, a virtual one. That's the only type I'm used to. And by virtual, I don't mean uh, through computers or make belief, I mean a romantic relationship um, m mentally wise. Those are the only types of uh, relationships uh, I experienced so far. Uh, I mean, I grew up watching TV. It's all virtual world. My world is all mental. And uh, to actually break through that barrier, uh, to go to the other realm, which I hardly exist in, the physical realm, uh, is uh, something uh, not in my abilities yet. I just don't have uh, it in my arsenal of uh, things to uh, make a physical romantic uh, relationship in this world. I just don't know how, where to start. It's easy to say. You just uh, uh, hook up, say what you feel, and blah blah blah. But to me it's much deeper than that. I can see much uh, forward into the future. I analyze and uh, from my perspective it's uh, much better to do without than to do with it. I mean, a romantic relationship uh, embodies a lot of responsibility and uh, a lot of uh, trans personal transformation. So to actually engage in a physical, not a virtual, romantic relationship uh, is uh, something I don't know I'm ready for, which is why I never really pursued it. And again, I don't know how to get there, it's just uh, not in my arsenal of uh, social capabilities. It's uh, one thing to fantasize, uh, it all seems so well and uh, joyful, but uh, when I think about it deeper, And uh, I recognize that it is mostly a false uh, perception of things. Uh, I mean, not a false perception of things, but uh, it's just uh, 
that initial high which will go away immediately after you actually do have sex and uh, uh, and then what uh, you're just uh, two people with a collection of uh, issues and uh, all that fantasy and prepping and uh, all that e wonderful things will be behind you and uh, you are just left with the broken parts of your lives and uh, to deal with those so having uh, the ability to think that deep really discourages me to actually have a physical relationship a constant romantic relationship with someone and uh, again kids were in my mind at that time uh, it was a perfect situation for me to approach her it was uh, she made it friday and uh, she even at uh, the last time two times so she she gave me the opportunity brought a pack back and I thought maybe she was thinking the same thing I was we go downtown get a hotel and uh, just live it up I have no problem spending all my money whatever I have little I have for that one chance of uh, extreme pleasure but just thinking about it uh, uh, brought me enough uh, satisfaction I mean just uh, made it feel I already experienced it mentally because like I said I live uh, mostly mentally I experience things mostly mentally uh, in other terms virtually and having done that I accomplished what I really uh, I'm used to and what I expect so uh, I didn't see the necessity of going forward don't get me wrong it's not that I do not want a relationship real and uh, Uh, a partnership with someone with a female of course romantic partnership it's uh, that uh, I'm not sure uh, if uh, I'm ready for it uh, and uh, it can happen but with a catalyst and that means the female must be lead me into it more forcefully and yeah i squandered those upper the opportunity with my love interest um, i uh, 
I think she got uh, fed up with me. She kind of, I kind of broke her bubble, maybe, because uh, before she left the second time, she felt, she looked defeated, looked away, uh, looked really hurt, and uh, I hope she didn't, but I think she gave up, and she just got up and uh, walked uh, real quickly away. I thought she might give me an other chances, but uh, she didn't. That was the last time she showed interest in me. Uh, I kind of disappointed in myself, but uh, it's not a deep disappointment. Uh, I kind of uh, suspected this is the failure I would uh, uh, do and because uh, I know myself I, w I was hoping she would uh, continue to give me chances but uh, really to be honest uh, I don't uh, think I would have took them because uh, I, I don't think I know how to take them so uh, even though I, it would have been nice, it would have probably have just uh, been uh, non-consequential and uh, probably led uh, to us feeling more despair, but it would have shown how much uh, attachment she had to me uh, and uh, it was a good ear for me uh, my 37 ear it was uh, uh, one of the best ears except for the emotional uh, 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 emotional uh, hurt bearing down on me with respect uh, to that romantic side of my life and uh, uh, yeah, I just uh, try to deal with it it's still there and that that's the only real uh, thing that uh, keeps me down emotionally uh, but I have to uh, dis be disciplined uh, in the year to come if uh, I'm not I can get myself in serious trouble either jail or uh, hurt really badly uh, I have to s uh, stand back uh, uh, respect uh, the laws and uh, uh, respect my love interests decision and uh, yeah this will be the main thing in the year to come
it's, it's going to be the hardest thing for me to have that to I'm not sure I even I have it to, to uh, uh, apply that discipline and just uh, stay back stay away yeah so that was uh, the one of the highlights uh, of 2018 and uh, another one is uh, I engaged the stock market uh, I got uh, someone a close uh, relative family member some money invested in the stock market my own uh, initiative I uh, dabbled in the stock market uh, around uh, 2014 for six seven months made the uh, 20,000 trades um, got to know it really well uh, and uh, you know that knowledge kept with me but this time I wasn't trying to trade initially being a trader I was doing it for investing reasons I thought uh, the dollar store was uh, a sa fail safe place to be I saw how Sears uh, business was uh, really bad low foot traffic low sales and uh, you know what uh, they were making uh, everything about that business was shameful but uh, not so back then uh, a decade or so ago I mean uh, seeing the stock prices for it you will see that uh, it was uh, highly valued and uh, but seeing how it is at today or just uh, a year ago how it was closing and all that and uh, how the business was just go diving uh, but seeing another business model thriving under the same concept and uh, making a ton of money while they hardly made maybe a tenth of what this other business was making I figured the other business uh, you know is gold as good as gold so I decided uh, I'm gonna invest in the other business uh, I, I want to get uh, some investment in the other business uh, and the other business being the dollar store uh, concept uh, dollar Rama dollar tree yeah, uh, dollar general, the five below, uh, but uh, the two main companies I was focused on was uh, Dollar Rama and Dollar Tree. Those are the companies I want to invest in. I saw they were making a ton of money a day. I didn't even bother checking their balance sheets before investing in them 
uh, which was a mistake but uh, I figured since uh, Sears was even still around while making uh, hardly any sales uh, maybe 10% of what uh, these dollars any one of these dollar stores uh, make uh, and I figured uh, it was a no-brainer to put your money in dollar store chains so I convinced a family member that uh, the smartest way to make money is to invest in these dollar store chains so I got money in there I kept uh, pounding on the concept uh, uh, you know hyping it up uh, convinced that it, it was gonna shoot to the sky the investment uh, so the bit by I took bit by bit of that family members uh, savings until I had a really big chunk of it in there both in Dollarama and Dollar Tree so and uh, I got in at a g good time thankfully so I put the, the investments in those two companies and uh, it was around uh, mid-May and, uh, and we just waited up for the uh, quarterly report uh, the first one ended up being Dollar Tree to report and uh, uh, that was uh, just a massacre uh, that thing dropped 20% after it reported it was horrible and uh, that, that thing was uh, dollar uh, Rama was gonna report uh, uh, I think it was uh, two days later or three uh, and uh, I it was a difficult uh, thing uh, to bear uh, watching the stock fall it, 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 I didn't expect it wasn't a bad financial report uh, it was okay but uh, for for some reason because it missed ever so slightly uh, on the uh, on the uh, what's it called uh, the expectations forecasts uh, it uh, they, they just killed it dropped uh, it kept dropping dropped in the morning kept dropping I, I was panicking I didn't know what to do uh, I it, it was crazy uh, and uh, so uh, I know from playing it from being in penny stocks that these things uh, can drop forever and the situation was that the trade wars with China were just uh, priming up at that time so it brought me more anxiety because uh, if there was any company that would be more affected in the trade wars it would be the dollar store chains because they get most of their products from china so 
uh, I decided uh, and I didn't want to do this I want to play long term but uh, I wasn't sure how well it will ho with hold up uh, given uh, all the facts because uh, uh, Dollar Tree only sells things for a dollar and the margins I, I figure are really small so I decided to pull the money out of the investment so I was at 95 put the, all the money at uh, 95 dollars and then it dropped down to 89 I couldn't believe it down to 87 and uh, it just kept the uh, it just kept uh, pummeling down uh, to uh, uh, 81 it even got down there but it uh, uh, restabilized around 83 and uh, the next day I made the decision just to get out of it because uh, like I said, I wasn't sure how much it was going to be affected by the trade war with China. So, uh, then uh, I, I, I was looking at all these dollar store chains in America. I, uh, I, was, I was studying them at the same time. There was Dollar General and uh, Five Below and uh, Dollar General uh, seemed to do better than do Dollar Tree uh, but uh, because it's, the prices of its products uh, aren't like Dollar Trees it has uh, much more room to uh, take the impact of the trade war so but uh, I noticed the uh, five below was uh, an up and coming star based in Philadelphia and I figured uh, all these uh, there's a lot of hype around it and it's I looked at the balance sheets and the, all the uh, facts around it how much shares it has in the market uh, in the stock market and uh, uh, the chances of it going up or down I realized that uh, since it's a Philadelphia company uh, there's gonna be a lot of uh, uh, support for it because uh, it's uh, uh, one of the a few companies based in Philadelphia and uh, you know, just for the sake of that city there's gonna be a lot of support for this company just to prop up this city's company uh, from whoever uh, just the, the general public and financial advisors and whoever investors they just want to to this company to be successful so they they're gonna make it uh, as much as possible uh, uh, you know, uh, look good and uh, I, I, that's the one I chose. So, so I took my money, I sold the Dollar Tree, put it in that money right before it was gonna report earnings. And uh, you know, I was taking a big risk, but uh, I, I, was, I wasn't gonna keep all the money there while it was uh, I, before it reported earnings 
so uh, it was going up I mean tens uh, of percents uh, it went it was like up 21 percent something like that and uh, I put the money in that company and then it kept going up before it re was re going to report and uh, it start it just kept going up so it w it went up like uh, ten percent fifteen percent and I slowly reduced my position because I didn't want to keep holding everything in that company before it reported earnings because I saw the consequences of uh, yeah, a negative reaction to earnings so uh, I kept reducing my position and uh, when I bought, kept just a few shares and when it reported earnings it really shot up 60 70 percent even going up uh, uh, to uh, I just kept going up and up and up and up and uh, I, uh, I uh, as it kept going up I kept reducing my position and uh, made it a policy of mine not to go back and just keep uh, my <coughs> profits so I uh, I kept the, uh, the profits and, but uh, went uh, out of it maybe it made a few flips but uh, went out of it near the top <coughs> however if I kept my money there <coughs> I would have done good <clears throat> Got a dry mouth. Okay. Got some water. Hopefully, I'm good now. So, yeah, I would have uh, doubled my money if I just uh, kept uh, it all invested in five below. Uh, it was uh, one of the few stocks I've been in that went over a hundred percent from one I per invested in it. So the next day after that great outcome with five below was Dollar Rama's turn to report and. Uh, I was in a hard position. I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to uh, uh, lower my position before Dollarama reported. Uh, but seeing the outcome and five below, and uh, knowing that uh, dollar. Rama is uh, more similar to five below than it is to dollar tree. Uh, I made the, the stupid mistake of uh, keeping all my Canadian investment in dollar Rama. Uh, so just before it was gonna report, it uh, popped went from fifty dollars to uh, fifty six fifty seven and uh, uh, I, I wanted to, I, I went all in on dollar Rama uh, I didn't want to miss uh, that boat uh, so 
it was uh, a difficult night that day. Uh, I was expecting uh, good things, uh, but uh, the signals were bad. Uh, the signals I was getting, there there were comments uh, on uh, the comment board and. Uh, the press releases from the company yeah you know, that's the thing uh, you never know what games are being played who's on the your side and who's uh, on the other side whether people are short or long you know, who you can trust and who you can't trust. So the the CEO of Dollarama just changed. So I was expecting just for appearance sake because now Dollarama has a new CEO. They were gonna make sure the stock price got a good uh, lift in that qu quarter uh, that was uh, my thinking it's, and uh, uh, but the, the signals weren't exciting uh, so so I, I was uh, I, I, my emotions were a bit uh, uh, numb at that time I wasn't sh I wasn't sure whether to feel uh, uh, good or bad so uh, early in the morning yeah I was up and uh, uh, maybe five and I was just waiting looking at the markets uh, just waiting uh, for the returns to come up and see how, how the pre-market tra trades were going and all that because uh, I didn't want to experience the same thing that I experienced with uh, Dollar Tree if uh, because I, I held on to the Dollar Tree shares while the price of them were collapsing and uh, as soon as uh, I got a negative signal my plan was to sell immediately regardless uh, uh, of the price at that time uh, so uh, because uh, I know it could just keep falling and uh, you know the amount of money I had invested in Dollarama uh, was way more and uh, had the much more impact than the other do Dollar Tree investments so uh, it was a pretty pretty intense time for me uh, uh, so I kept waiting and uh, I know where I know things weren't gonna go right uh, even before the press release because uh, the family member uh, uh, came bursting in my room with, with an issue first thing in the morning before the report was gonna just before the report was gonna go come out and you know the day wasn't starting right it, it just uh, that's the way things are uh, it's you get bad days and good days and uh, from start to finish and it was good the the signs were uh, it was gonna be a really bad day I mean she was uh, 
that family member was really mad in that morning uh, on an unrelated uh, reason but uh, yeah so, so it was really bad signal but I was wishing I was really wishing uh, things w are not gonna go in that direction uh, and I was just waiting for that press release and when that press release came it, it didn't seem very bad at all it, it just a slight mess in the forecast but uh, that's all it took that's all it took and uh, the price of it fell it went it went uh, back down to 150 and uh, just keep going uh, I saw I I got out at that price and uh, the, but, but because I forgot I had the, the orders yeah, I forgot I got I had the orders uh, just the, their multi-day orders you know uh, I made them long ago I other I automatically uh, bought some shares uh, without realizing it so uh, I went out of the position and then came back in I was up a few thousand before this incident, before this this uh, downward turn of Dollarama, uh, and then uh, because of the downward turn, uh, for the first time my Canadian investment was actually down, uh, and uh, yeah. Uh, I just uh, all I was working for about a month building up by flipping the stock uh, building up the investment uh, getting some gain just so if it actually fell it wouldn't hurt too much uh, and uh, all all the gains were gone and then some so uh, so so then my orders limit orders were filled by orders and i had no idea that i still had buy orders uh, uh, and so i i reacquired that stock without realizing it and then the stocks just kept full going down from the time i uh, i reacquired it and so I had to uh, find a way to flip it again without losing more. Uh, but uh, it, it it bounced a bit, and I had a chance to get up out with a bit a bit of uh, a gain on that last purchase. And uh, but. Uh, I I waited a bit lo too long. Uh, I figured it might b bounce up a bit more, restabilize a bit more, save people some money. I mean, people. Maybe there was some compassion in the market, but uh, now it it went back down, and I I sold for a loss a second time but uh yeah uh, it was uh very painful and uh i figured i would uh, try to do the same thing i did in the in the american stock market maybe with the five below but this time the play was the banks i saw the banks uh, they got good earnings, but uh, they they went down. Uh, so 
my strategy was going with the banks and uh, uh, I did I ended up going with the Bank of Nova Scotia and uh, that bank seemed uh, like a good deal it it had been falling for some time going down for some time uh, and uh, it seemed like uh, uh, it was uh, about the right time to reverse its direction and start going up I mean it had good earnings and all there, it didn't seem like there was a good reason for it to go down so I bought that the Bank of Nova Scotia and uh, 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 that was my second bad Canadian trade and that's the only one I really st only stuck with uh, so and the Canadian side of the stock market I never went anywhere else but uh, uh, I took really big risk with the bank uh, something I don't want to recall it would have caused the financial tragedy uh, if uh, things would have went wrong but uh, uh, I learned my lesson and uh, the big bank uh, just uh, was a bad uh, it's it's a good it had good potential no doubt but for some reason the stock is really bad investment although it returns almost five percent in dividends a very good return better than they give you uh, an interest in your bank account that's for sure but uh, uh, I realized later the reason it's going down was due to the Latin American uh, economy uh, that economy uh, was uh, in recession mode and I only realized that later uh, that bank had uh, uh, big interest in the Latin American economy so that's why it was going down uh, uh, but uh, with regard to the American stock market after getting out of five below so, uh, I was uh, I was just uh, working it really well the, the stock market making really good trades one uh, every day uh, every day I was gaining a few hundred dollars plus uh, the 200 uh, or so commission fees so I was uh, I still had that knowledge uh, I I gained from those 20,000 trades that any knowledge in me uh, so I was gaining every day. I I know which companies to to trade. Uh, I know how to uh, pick them out from the news and everything. Uh, I was just uh, I was in a winning streak for two weeks uh, straight. Uh, maybe uh, well more than two weeks a month, but some some days I would uh, uh, break even but uh, for a month I was at a winning streak never losing one time and uh, yeah I just had it but uh, it, uh, I became overconfident uh, I eventually uh, I, for two, two times I went uh, above uh, 
what uh, I my initial investment but uh, I didn't lock in the gain so I lost them uh, so I was uh, I was confident in my in my trading habits and uh, yeah I became uh, more sympathetic to my uh, fellow investors uh, I, I I wanted to share in the wealth uh, I want to I want collectively for us to win so I I shifted from being a trader to being more of a, a conscience trader and uh, that was my downfall and I just uh, once I did that I couldn't get it back yeah, I started uh, uh, holding my position even before I like it more longer than I like to because I didn't want to put downward direction uh, on the stock price. I didn't want to uh, mistreat my fellow investors. So uh, yeah, I, I started uh, 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 flopping. Uh, uh, since that time so uh, I would uh, just uh, out of with the sake of uh, consideration I wouldn't make gains uh, I would just hold on to stocks that were going down uh, with the expectation they would go back up and uh, uh, that was the beginning of my losing streak uh, and uh, yeah I couldn't like I said I couldn't uh, I couldn't uh, reacquire what I lost that skill I lost I couldn't figure out how to get it back uh, and uh, uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, vicious uh, business uh, the stock market it's a brutal one heartless and uh, you're rooting for other people whether shorts or longs shorts are people who are bet against the stock and I really despise them and uh, you're rooting them for them to uh, pretty much lose uh, their livelihoods, their homes, their uh, their family's money, everything. You're rooting for them to go into bankruptcy and probably um, just uh, they're gonna commit suicide. They're gonna lose so much. Uh, there's a good chance a lot of them will just kill themselves and uh, it's just an ugly business really really ugly business and uh, I have to be thankful that uh, uh, there was a lot of constraints on me I, I want I wanted to trade options at one time and with Dollarama thinking for sure it was gonna just go up and if I did I would have lost a ton of money and uh, because my account current the stock account uh, I had current uh, yeah, I that saved me a, t a lot of uh, you know, pain and uh, then uh, I couldn't short and uh, if I had the ability to short stocks I'm sure I would have 
again I'm I'm glad that I, I current because uh, that's the sure path to bankruptcy you never know when a stock will shoot a hundred percent overnight the next day first day in the morning uh, 200 percent and there goes all your money and then some and uh, the like the deal with IBM uh, acquiring Red Hat if anyone everyone who shorted Red Hat are really in a bad very very bad position right now I can a uh, hundred a few a thousand or so st stocks represent hundreds of thousands of dollars that's how much you would lose if you had shorted the uh, say a thousand dollar a thousand stocks of Red Hat before the announcement was made uh, it was acquired by and it was it was gonna be bought out by I, IBM for a high premium and uh, you would have been down two hundred thousand dollars who knows how much uh, so uh, I'm a grat I'm grateful I'm grateful for that family member who who kept me grounded who uh, kept an eagle eye on me and eventually forced me to get out of the stock market uh, 100% even while I was convinced there was a chance uh, to uh, make good gain in it uh, that I am uh, you know I have no problem with uh, people investing long term in stock but uh, to trade them or investing in indexes but to trade, trade them uh, is a really risky business and uh, most people will lose uh, bar none uh, it's a big ch chance you're gonna lose a lot of money uh, and uh, whether you're a billionaire or a small time investor and uh, yes uh, I, so uh, the family member just got me to get out of it uh, and I was just convinced there was this and this this company that's gonna still make good money it's still gonna go up real well uh, but uh, uh, towards the end of the year it was clear I was very wrong and I was uh, lucky to get in and out at a very good time uh, a lot of those stocks went down up to uh, uh, almost 50 60 percent at almost uh, those uh, high high profile name stocks uh, a lot of the uh, well-known companies you know, they, they were just uh, they just cratered uh, real bad and uh, uh, the trade war made it I was uh, around when the trade wars were simmering real well and uh, I played 
doors really well as I was lucky in that situation as well. Uh, I, I mostly s stayed out of the stock market during that time, but uh, it went down uh, substantially at that time and uh, uh, later, uh, you know, uh, every mo two months or so it would go down significantly, but uh, you know, I was uh, grateful. The last uh, straw was uh, investing in uh, uh, Valerio, I think it's called, the VLO stock. It's a oil refining company. Uh, the, the oil, they were saying oil was going to shoot to the sky. You know, hyping up oil, and uh, you know, I I didn't believe oil could be manipulated so easily. The price of it, uh, it was high. It was it was shooting up. So I figured uh, this is a good time to get an oil company, and the uh, refineries are the best since. Uh, uh, they don't depend uh, really on the price of the commodity much. If the commodity goes up uh, down, they're still good. Uh, and uh, if it goes up, they're still good because they hedge their bets on oil. And uh, yeah, so and that that stock was down. It was uh, kind of making a curve, upside down curve. So uh, I was expecting it to shoot back up, swing back up, uh, based on the graph. Uh, but uh, yeah, the, I was just really uh, fooled by the price of oil. Uh, how they manipulated it and uh, I was gonna make a big bet in it but th thanks goodness to due to circumstances my mother was out uh, I couldn't uh, uh, get uh, uh, some something to make the trade and uh, uh, yeah, the situation uh, uh, lent it, itself to uh, not being as bad as I it could have been. Uh, it, uh, I didn't invest as much as uh, I wanted to, and I didn't lose as much, but that was the last straw seeing how the price of oil is so easily changed and uh, yeah uh, after that uh, my family member uh, forced me out uh, after that last loss so uh, so something uh, ever since then that was my situation with the stock market uh, it, it was uh, a dreadful time uh, every every day uh, felt like uh, being on a roller coaster tw 24 hours a day uh, the most scariest roller coaster uh, you actually feel like you're riding the graph of the stock price and uh, uh, every day it felt like uh, my heart was gonna pop out of uh, my my mouth uh, yeah, it, it was uh, very frightening and uh, it's not an easy thing uh, 
you're, uh, you're gonna be uh, on the edge all the time if you invest in the stock market and uh, oh, you, you're gonna expend all your mental powers on it but uh, uh, so I've, ever since I got out of it it was like a uh, relief uh, I wanna go back to the romantic thing uh, another thing that discouraged me with uh, establishing a romantic relationship is that uh, uh, how people uh, really don't uh, live up to uh, uh, their responsibilities a lot of uh, uh, it's a lot of uh, f uh, fantasy uh, I mean to uh, watching Super Nanny I know this uh, Uh, how the attractive people are uh, uh, need water again got myself a bottle of water this time it's, uh, saying I noticed uh, how the people who are really attracted to each other uh, pretty much were in a fantasy world uh, at least uh, in their heads uh, because the end result of their extreme attraction were children they did not want or they did not uh, want to deal with or they could not handle and uh, it just uh, seared into my head that how uh, attraction is uh, really only temporary uh, I mean uh, beauty it's, uh, it, it lures you to have babies and uh, uh, it, it ends with that, uh, sad consequences with kids not being wanted and suffering and uh, one of the other things that discourages me is that uh, I'm not a believer in uh, family I don't believe in families the family structure uh, to me uh, people uh, from the time they are born should be uh, uh, autonomous and uh, they should uh, directly have uh, their own uh, support system independent of anyone else uh, and uh, the family 
as we know it today uh, uh, has no uh, consequence to them uh, I, I I really don't like parents much uh, uh, parents uh, to me no offense are uh, cruel and uh, suppressing I believe and people driving their own uh, path in life uh, self uh, determined and they should be self uh, determined and uh, they should just be independent and the way they reach uh, uh, their own uh, support uh, level support system establish the, their the, their own system support systems are are true uh, guides i think that's how it should be people should have uh, the guides who they select themselves kids uh, um, uh, qualified guys w with the uh, direct them, help them with everything they need, and uh, the guides would be selected by the ch the the children themselves until uh, the children grow up to be self uh, supporting uh, and because I'm a believer in that system and not in the system we have today uh, I, I really not insensitized sensitive device to uh, make a relationship and uh, bear children again uh, uh, you know the family parents are a big disappointment to me uh, yeah for many reasons I won't get into uh, anyways, uh, another development in the last year is that uh, I made more than a few YouTube channels. You can find uh, under the What's the Best brand. Uh, is uh, Was the Best. Okay, so just search for what's the best, uh, the main ones being uh, what's the best uh, life hack and what's the best top product and what's the best home. I added hundreds of videos to these channels uh, in that time span not very successful yet not big a big following or viewing uh, but uh, i'm really satisfied with them they could uh, of course use some uh, qualitative improvements but uh, i still get uh, views and uh, uh, occasional comments and uh, yeah, the, they're an est uh, quite an establishment 
and uh, I want to in the future make more channels, one for an, uh, advice on uh, nutritional nutrition and just general uh, health advice and uh, another one dog training uh, just a, I got lots of uh, channel ideas uh, just uh, of course to think of them is one thing and uh, to actually uh, do them is another uh, I can hardly uh, like I said in the last video I have a productivity issue and uh, it's getting worse over time uh, although I think uh, I'm uh, recovering from that uh, uh, continuous uh, downfall of my productivity maybe it's uh, it's uh, reached the bottom maybe it's going back up a bit but yeah I have a productivity issue it takes me a really long time to do something I used to uh, scorn the old uh, programmers back when I was uh, a young programmer because uh, they would take forever to do program the simplest things and uh, you would need a ton of these old guys to do uh, laughably simple projects uh, but uh, now I can't even get myself uh, to the computer let alone make any type of program uh, yeah, I just dealing with the everyday uh, response life chores uh, is enough to take up all my time uh, it's a sad situation and uh, uh, I need this world to uh, be the technology to improve uh, a hundred times before I uh, can be uh, in any way productive, useful to society and uh, I uh, yeah, just uh, need to go into the future a few decades where I can belong I don't feel like I belong in this era uh, anyways uh, I'm uh, cleaning up my room so show you yeah that's a big change I so ever since I got out of the stock market that's my thing all I've been doing cleaning up getting rid of all those old stuff uh, things from uh, all the way back to the mid 80s it's time to move this past the 2000 era set up and get into to the, to the 2020s 
and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get all, rid of all this furniture that no longer is useful. Uh, all these space stickers and just breathe a little. So, I, uh, yeah, it just was a really good ear. I developed uh, uh, better habits. It was a, a very good ear on my health. I, uh, 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 you know, with my life hack channel, I discovered many things. I made many things that made life easier. Uh, I found, got a lot of products. I uh, didn't make any money this year. I made f four thousand, lost eight thousand dollars, but uh, it was uh, really enjoyable ear still uh, uh, yeah I, it's uh, one uh, one of the few ears I felt really good and uh, I, yeah uh, uh, what can I say I felt really good this year and uh, I, I'm uh, optimistic I think uh, I can uh, uh, honestly say uh, I uh, I'm gonna see better things and then uh, the, the ear to come and my and my 38th ear uh, I've uh, discovered that things to make my environment uh, more comfortable uh, you know, uh, shield myself from uh, the harshness of the weather and uh, yeah it's uh, I like the way technology is progressing uh, I discovered a lot of uh, artist in the last year uh, music wise uh, masterpiece makers uh, Cheryl Lloyd Rita Ora uh, Julia Michaels Anne Marie Uh, Dua Lipa uh, and uh, I'm always playing music uh, there's AI I introduced in, into my life through uh, Google Home and uh, made life uh, much more uh, happier it's really improved life uh, that Google Home and uh, the artificial intelligence and the home automations. Uh, I get the light open uh, and closed through voice commands. So when I'm in bed, I don't have to get up. A lot of things have been added and made be for the better this year. I expect uh, just things to get more automated and uh, uh, more uh, more easier on the body and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward uh, I have ideas of advancements that should be made I want to open uh, uh, some social media accounts to improve my public profile. I should since I'm a programmer and 
I'm going to have to depend on my name to uh, get my product out if I ever develop some. And uh, yeah, that's the situation. So everything uh, is fine. Well, not everything. The the romantic side uh, still bears down on me emotionally. But uh, you know, if uh, I am uh, being uh, Uh, realistic about things if, uh, if I'm just uh, live for what I have what is within my grasp uh, I'm uh, I can be okay so uh, yeah I think I said all that can be said and uh, you know, bye to the CRT TVs, VHS tapes, CDs, DVDs, video players, voice recorders, you know, papers, printers, and uh, big hard drives, big computers, and uh, you know, welcome robots and uh, 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 lights, good lighting, and uh, AI.